So Honda aims to sell 1 million electric motorcycles within five years. Yeah, are they gonna electrify the Goldwing? Let's find out. Hey guys, we just want to let you know that we're putting out this video to talk a little bit about what went on with the global press conference last week from Honda and some of the information and misinformation we're seeing in other blogs, vlogs, and magazine articles. And most of all, we want to know how you feel about what we're going to chat about. So please weigh in, leave a comment, let us know what you think. So there's been a lot of talk about the continuation of the production of the Goldwing. There was a lot of talk in the media all over the place about whether the Goldwing would survive. Then there was talk about would it be the DCT? Would the manual keep in production? Right. There was a lot of rumors. So we're definitely assured this is going to continue produce. Honda is going to continue producing this bike till at least 2024. But then what? Right. All right. And in which markets? Right. Will it be eliminated from the Japanese market? Will it be continuing here in the U.S.? So most of the issues are because of the emission standards in the U.K. and in Japan. Uh, that doesn't really affect us in the United States. But Honda is currently making 10 electric motorcycles. Well, we talked before about them removing 10 motorcycles from their lineup, but now in a recent press conference, Honda's come to the table with their plans for future EV compliance. And yes, they plan on bringing in 10 new electric motorcycles by 2025. So yeah, Honda has big ambitions here, right? They are the largest motorcycle manufacturer in the world, but they're number two here in the US. Yeah, that's right. Harley-Davidson outsells them two to one, I believe. And as the largest manufacturer, they definitely see themselves leading the charge towards carbon neutrality in this world. Additionally, they want to get into battery swapping technology, you know, first concentrating on Eastern markets, but eventually bringing that to North America as well building a series of battery swapping stations throughout these different countries. And and Mike, I'm sure you think this is a good idea because we've talked about infrastructure and this whole charging issue. Yeah, well, in my opinion, the battery performance, the infrastructure, all of these things are not in place and not ready to support this level of ambition. Um, ambition. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. so. To have a battery, an electric motorcycle that has a range of 100 miles with a battery that weighs 1,200 pounds is not going to help anybody. <laughs> a 1,200-pound battery? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Well, the Goldwing's already pretty heavy, I'll, I'll tell you that. Well, I understand Honda wanting to be innovative, and rightly so, being the largest motorcycle manufacturer. But I think they might have bitten off a little bit more than they can chew. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you there. I'm going to see how I, I want to see how this unfolds. I really do. I mean, do you think it's better to, you know, concentrate on making internal combustion engines more efficient and, and thinking about hybrid solutions before trying to, you know, plug in and unplug all these bikes? Well, you know, there's many roads up the mountain, but uh, Honda's big picture is to be carbon neutral by 2030. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens. And to be all electric by what, 2050? Is that the plan? Is that Something what we... like that, yeah. Now, another thing they talked about in this press conference was um, uh, a flagship program in Brazil where they're using, you know, bioethanol and different blends of bioethanol all the way up to 100% yeah, ethanol. Yeah, that's nothing to brag about, putting ethanol in gasoline. Well, I mean, you've never been a fan to what it does to an engine. Correct. So let's show the folks these different categories of e-motorcycles that they've come up with and why we think it's a little early to predict the e-goldwing. So Honda was breaking down the planned models into three subcategories, including electric bikes, electric mopeds, and what they called their fun motorcycles. And the electric bikes were about 15.5 miles per hour and under, the electric mopeds that go up to about 31 mile per hour, and their electric fun motorcycles, which go above 50. I keep using that phrase, fun motorcycles, because that was the phrase they were using in the press conference. And this particular branch, the fun motorcycles, are going to be geared towards the US, Japan, and Europe. And they're planning to provide three different 
models and also a little kid's dirt bike, which I think is very cute. So here's where the thing came out about E. Goldwings. Like some people thought some of these silhouettes looked like they were a cruiser touring style moped. Now, we actually don't agree with that. Take a look at these. What do you guys think? This is the one that people thought might be an E-Wing. And, you know, globally, Honda has such a huge market share for developing countries, etc. So a lot of this e-motorcycle stuff makes sense when we think about emission conditions in third world countries that might not be as stringent as other places and the kind of places where a lot of people will have a moped as opposed to a car. So emission was wise, we, we think this makes sense. All right, well, this is a lot to digest. So why don't you guys leave a comment? Let us know what you guys think. Maybe we could all wrap our heads around this. All right, well, till next time, guys. Bye-bye.